Okay, let's get over here with uh, explaining a little bit about fractions. So one thing I want you to understand about fractions is always just kind of remember, when we're dealing with fractions, I know it gets a lot of compli very complicated a lot of times, but if you can always just kind of simple it down to a part over a whole, all right? The other way we can break it down is, remember we have a numerator, that is our part, which is the top of the fraction, over our denominator. And sorry for my little spelling and writing, but I just want you to understand that you're going to have a part over a whole and a numerator or a denominator. That's really the same thing with your fraction. Now, the next thing that we need to understand with a fraction is really all a fraction is is if we take a whole, here I have three bars, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these bars into six different parts or section them off. So now I'm going to section it off and do two, two different parts, okay? So therefore, what I'm going to have is my denominator for this problem is going to be 2. So therefore, I've broken it up into two sections. Now, if I'm going to select one of them, let's say I select this part of ours, that means I've selected one part out of the whole because there's two parts in the whole. So I've selected one out of a total of two parts. Therefore, I get, that's why this part is 1 half. Uh, let's take a look at Let's take a look here. Now I've sectioned the same bar into three equal parts. Now my denominator is going to be three. So the whole has now been sectioned off into three parts. So it takes three parts to make a whole. Now let's say I want to highlight two of the three parts. Therefore, my numerator, or the parts that I'm choosing, is going to be two out of three. Now lastly, I'm going to show you, you can section this off into six. Now I'm just using these three different values, you can really section any, any bar up into any really amount that you want to. But for this case, let's just um, let's choose to section it off into uh, six different pieces. So therefore, I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six. And so therefore, I'll have sectioned off into six pieces. And let's say I want to highlight um, five of them. Therefore, the fraction of this bar is going to be 5 over 6. So ladies and gentlemen, that's just a little basic, inter um, basic movement into how we get fractions um, and where they come from and what they really mean.